Hey everyone, Gavin with Spectora here. Today we're gonna to talk about defect categories, how to customize them and where they show up in the mobile app so you can classify something as a major safety hazard, a basic recommendation, a maintenance item. So let's quickly jump into a report here and see that this particular inspector has the maintenance items, major safety hazards in red, and then he has his basic recommendation here in orange. So that's how these are going to appear on the report. They're going to be color coded and then they're also going to show up when you click on your summary. Significant defect, that word is going to populate there. So I'm going to show you where to edit these real quick. Let's go into the template editor. So I'm in the template editor here and I'm going to click on the title of the template to get into settings and we'll go into defect categories. So here in this particular account, we have deferred maintenance, recommendation, and major issues. And so this can be customized to anything you want it to say, and it will show up on the report in that way. You can also choose to exclude some of these from the summary. So if you have agents or in a particular area where you need to only have certain items in the summary, it's really your choice. So you can go in here. You don't have to have three categories. Um, you can have one, two, or three for the level of severity and the different category labels. So hit save all here. And I'll show you in the mobile app here off to the right, when you go into siding, flashing and trim, you'll notice we go down to an observation. And here I can toggle if this is deferred maintenance, if it's a recommendation, if it's a major issue. So keep in mind that when you set these up and you have an already created report, it's not going to retroactively change that. So these stamp out each time you create an inspection or generate a report, these settings stamp out. So you're locked into them uh, if you're in the middle of a report. So this is where you would toggle it on mobile. So if we go into a report on desktop, I'll quickly show you where that toggle is when you're in the desktop report writer. So when you're on desktop and you go into a section item in defect, you'll notice the category labels right here. You can label it maintenance, recommendation, or safety hazard. You can set these as default on a per defect basis in your template editor. So when you go in the template editor and select any given defect, you can go in here and say, hey, when I select this defect, I always want it to be a deferred maintenance item. You can always change it on a per report basis, but this saves you a tab if you do this on a lot of your common defects, it's gonna save you a ton of taps, a ton of time, and you'll get through inspections more efficiently. One thing to keep in mind is that your defect label is mostly for your internal reference. So it's gonna show in the mobile app here under observations, but it will show in a client-facing way if you do have the grid style right here. So it's gonna be that first letter, and what label of that call. So you can also change the recommendation here, and that is this part right here. You change recommendation that is your defect category label that's what's going to show for the most part up here you know it tends to be the word that influences clients and agents the most it's what they notice all right guys i hope that explains defect categories a little more it's something you can customize the three category labels are something that our inspectors are really loving and utilizing a lot you can make it flexible on a per template basis so explore and experiment with it thanks guys